GearNetwork.com. The following is a presentation of the Gear Radio Network. Hi, my name is Sailor. Calling with the warranty division. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. I'm very nervous because they said this was my final chance to do this. Okay, thank you for taking the call. Fuck you! Oh, can you please, Howard? <laughs> Coming to you live from the Gear Network Studios in Rochester, New York. This is the JC Money Show with your host, John Cimino, a.k.a. JC Money. And now, here's John. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the Gear Radio Network proudly presents to you one of its six flagship podcasts of the network. The J.C. Money Show! And I am your host, John Cimino. How in the hell are all of you? Thanks for tuning into the J.C. Money Show this week. That is my very, very, very poor impression of the Road Dogs spiel from WWE. Hey, I want to I want to say right now, really quickly, easy way to support us. Go ahead and click that subscribe button wherever you're listening. You look up there, look up top. You see that? Yeah, that subscribe button. Click that bad boy and subscribe. It will make sure that you receive the latest and greatest JC Money show whenever we release a podcast. And it seems to be uh, every week now, at least for the for the here and now. So that that's great. But hey, on today's show, um, yeah, just a quick little commentary on uh, masks coming off in, in New York. And I'm going to go ahead and, and just say right now that I'm happy with that. Now, we all know where I stand in terms of the political thing, right? We all know I'm more in the center and I lean left with a lot of different policies. I'm not a full-blown liberal like uh, the Trump supporters like to call me. Um, And I'm not at all a Republican or a Trump supporter at all. And I try my best to distinguish Republicans and Trump supporters as two different entities, but really they're beginning to become uh, fully intertwined. And I feel by the 2024 election, the Republican Party will absolutely be the party of Trump. It already is, but it's not really that right now, officially, but it will be. I digress. The mask debate has been probably one of the dumbest freaking debates that I've ever experienced uh, at all in my entire life not at all in my entire life the mask debate has been something somewhat of a polarizing thing people believe that it infringes on their rights to say hey wear a mask while there's this virus going around and it lessens your chances of getting sick and you get and then you get these uh, true patriot dolts and they all fit the stereotypical mold that's the thing they all fit the stereotypical mold they have been i can't breathe with a mask on well you know who couldn't breathe george floyd couldn't breathe again different subject different podcast probably but again i can't breathe this infringes on my rights i shouldn't have to wear a mask blah 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 and, and the common denominator for that is the, the, the people that are usually screaming the loudest about it are the ones who qualify as the, the least educated in surveys. You know, surveys or polls or whatever. They're the least educated. Now, in New York State, We were the first to pretty much have a mask mandate everywhere. We had to wear masks everywhere. You couldn't go into a building without a mask on. Couldn't go into a business without a mask on. You know, public transportation, you have to wear a mask. And I'm for that. Totally for that still, even as I am, I can proudly tell you that I am fully vaccinated. And by fully vaccinated, I mean if you, you know, whether it's the second dose of the Pfizer or Moderna or just the one single dose J&J shot. 14 days after that shot, you're deemed fully vaccinated. And and, and then you'll get your name on the Vax Pass and all that stuff. So you, so, but going back to where I'm going with this, New York State now no longer has the mask requirements. 
for people that are fully vaccinated. The caveat to that is the honor system, quote unquote, the honor system for those that are not vaccinated. It is going to be or is suggested that they continue to wear a mask. And that honor system thing is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But again, when you when you counter dumb, you know, when you deal with with a, a demographic of people that are not are simply not intelligent to science and facts, and believe quote alternative facts, you have to kind of baby them, I guess, and hope for the best because you assume that they are fully functioning adults. Here's the problem with the honor system. The honor system is is being put out there to people that since the beginning have, have had a problem with putting on a damn mask, let alone get, trusting the vaccination because of whatever conspiratorial QAnon bullshit that was created out of somebody's parents' basement, possibly while high, and put out there for idiots to share. Right, Barry Hardy? Okay, okay. So, now that I've set the scene with that, and kind of let you know what New York State is is requiring, or suggesting in some cases, I decided to test the waters a little bit. Now, for public transportation, you still have to wear a mask as, as, as a driver and as a passenger. So, when I dub over part-time as a Lyft driver or an Uber driver, I'm wearing a mask, even though I'm fully vaccinated. There have been people sitting in my backseat that groan about wearing masks still. The amount of fucks I give are equal to the number zero. But I decided to do a couple of things. First, I went to the Red Wings home opener. I sat in the vaccinated section. I cannot believe the amount of people that were crying about it online about segregation and equating segregation of vaccinated people to unvaccinated people in the same light that whites and colored folks were segregated, you know, that, that segregation, that era. And it, and it irritated the hell out of me, especially by people that I, I see on forums that, you know, when it's convenient to them, identify as Democrats. <laughs> Lovely Warren. Um, but, I decided to go to the Red Wings game. And you know what? It was a fantastic time. I, 90% of the time that I was there at the Red Wings game, I did not have a mask on. The only time I had a mask on when I was at the Red Wings game was when I went to the bathroom because I didn't want to smell any of their, any of their stank in there. So I had my mask on while I was there and it was great. And I, and I think I'm going to do that more often in public places is wear a mask going into a bathroom because just hu other humans are nasty sometimes. But I, t I decided to take it one step further the other day. And I went to Wegmans because Wegmans was notorious both for being the last place or one of the last places to require their employees to wear a mask at the beginning of the pandemic and as other companies like Walmart, Target, Tops, that have grocery stores in the area that I live in, were loosening their mask restrictions to go with the CDC's guidelines, Wegmans kind of sat silent for a little bit and was the last company, the last of the grocery store chains, to say, we're going to comply with the CDC guidelines. So I decided, what the hell? I'm going to go in without a mask, and I just want to see how many people are still wearing masks, not wearing masks. I wanted to get a gauge because I wanted a topic for this podcast. And boy, did I get one. So I pull in. I had my mask in my pocket because I still was a little on the fence and unsure. Call it PTSD from the past year, whatever. Old habits die hard. I know I wanted to do this, but I had the mask in my pocket 
just because maybe I had to go to the bathroom when I was there. I don't know. Either way, mask was in my pocket. Also, it could have been, you know, I could have walked to the door and and if I would have seen the mask required signage, I would have had to put the mask on. Because there are some businesses around here that still have mask required to enter. You got to put them on. It doesn't matter. They're leaving it up to the businesses to determine, you know, whatever. Anyways, so I walk in, into Wegmans, and I shit you all not, I am one of probably four or five people in that store that did not have a mask on. I will say I was the only person with a darker skin complexion that did not have a mask on. So that was the first thing I, I, I noticed right away. Though the other folks that were in the store that did not have their masks on were, as I like to call them, the stereotypical Trump supporter that you see on the internet that really comment nothing that you can tell Facebook's a still a new thing to them. Older, Caucasian, dingy looking. Like, they fit the part. And then you have the rest of the store that has masks on. And for the first time in th- that I can recall... I feel like I had both sides eyeing me up and down pretty good. I will explain. You can tell who's a Bernie bro. You can tell who's a Trumper. But they couldn't tell what the fuck I was. Trumpers typically think I am I am an Arab American. They think I'm of Arab descent because of my beard. The Bernie bros that were there were looking at me like I was a Trump supporter because I wasn't wearing a mask. And if I could have both middle fingers up, one pointed to the left and one pointed to the right while I walked in the center, that is exactly what I would have been doing. But because it was public and I didn't know what was going on and I didn't and I was getting really these stink eyes from, from people that were clearly on both sides, you know. I just wanted to get my shit and get out of there. So I, I but I kept doing what I did. I didn't, I didn't cave. I didn't put the mask on. And I don't feel like I need to. Because here's the thing. I did my part. I got the vaccine. I wore the mask per the rules. I stood home during the pandemic. I did not knowingly catch coronavirus. If I did, I probably would have been asymptomatic. But I am A-OK, in good health, and now some five, six days after those experiments, actually even more now, we're over a week now at this point, no symptoms, everything's fine. I'm totally good. I still carry the mask on me because, quite frankly, I don't trust other people sometimes. And depending on the scenario, I will wear a mask. Here's a here's a scenario. I went to 7-Eleven yesterday. 7-Eleven was freaking crowded in there. I wore a mask. There were, there were other people that did not. There were other people that did. But based on the amount of people that were inside that small store and in line... And all I had to do was go to the ATM. But either way, there was a lot of people in that store. I wore a mask. Closed vicinity inside. Smaller store. I'm going to wear a mask. Just in case. So I'm not quite 100% on the I'm ditching the mask thing. But that said, I walk into Delta Sonic the other day. Not a lot of people in there. I didn't put my mask on. People behind the counter, they didn't have their mask on. They still had the glass shield up, but they didn't have their mask on. I was fine. I was fine with that. 
So, for me, my stance on that is I'm going to keep the mask and wear it in certain certain situations. Perhaps when AEW comes to town in September, I believe, at the Blue Cross Arena. I'm planning on going. I'm going to buy a ticket and go. I might wear a mask in there because I expect it to be fully sold out. But I'll, ha- I'll have it on me. I might wear it in there. I also plan on going to a New York Jets game because the New Jersey governor said that they'll allow MetLife at full capacity now. I went to MetLife three years ago. I enjoyed it. I loved it there. It was great to be around 80,000 other Jets fans. I'm, I want to go. I'm going to go. It's outdoors. Maybe I'll buy a Jets mask just to have, but I don't plan on wearing a mask while I'm outdoors at a football game. So it's, it's going to be subjective for me personally. And for you as well. You do what you need to do. But the one thing that I don't want to see is people chastise other people for the decisions that they make. And I'm seeing that. And I'm hearing that. And it's stupid. Just as stupid as believing that your phone will stick to your arm because of magnetic power because of the vaccine that you got. I'm here to tell you I'm perfectly fine. I've been vaccinated for two months now. Perfectly fine. So, my suggestion, get your math, get, get your vaccine. Not going to do, it's not going to do anything that these idiot websites say that they're going to. Or continue to mask up. But, understand that limits can be set. I had to set limits with a, with a certain member of my family whom doesn't come around very often. But when he does, he expects the grandioso treatment. And he is absolutely QAnon. His favorite letter is Q. But I had to set the limit. I said, I either need a negative COVID test, proving you don't have it, or you need to wear a mask. And he said, well, I'm not getting vaccinated and I'm not wearing a mask. And I said, well, then I guess you can't see the kids. He's like, well, that's my, that's my, uh, that's my opinion. Okay, great. I'm glad it's your opinion. I'm glad that the opinion of other like-minded, uneducated folks on a blog site, on a free blog site, sways your opinion on seeing my children, whom this person claims that they adore more than life itself. That's what, uh, that's what this guy, that's what this stuff has done to people. And it's, it's so crazy. It's so weird. And I don't understand it, but either way, we're getting back to normal sort of, I don't think it's going to be a hundred percent the way it was pre pandemic, but in the same, it's, it's not going to be a bad thing. So I'll tell you what. I'm done with the commentary now. We're going to take a quick commercial break. More after this. Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Welcome back to the JC Money Show. And now, once again, here's John. All right, everybody, back here on the JC Money Show. And I can't lie, I was going to commercial break hoping for this exact thing to happen. And it has. We've got a call. I'm going to bring them on the air now. JC Money Show, hello, who is this? Hi, this is Jay calling you regarding your rate expiration as we have made several attempts to reach you. Press one more speak with live representative or press two for more information. All right, do you have a credit card on you? Yeah. Okay, what's the expiration date on it? Who's this? This is Robert Nelson. Robert Nelson from where? From there? Where from you? Japan. From Japan. From Japan. Japan. Yeah. All right. Japan. I'm 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 in Japan too. Uh, uh for real. Uh, okay. Which part in Tokyo? Which part? The part with all the buildings and shit. I don't know. I'm a tourist. What? You want my credit card or what? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. I need a credit card. What you need it for? 
I'm going to just uh, send you some money on your account. You're going to send me That's some. Why I need your credit card. You're going to send me some money on my, my on my account. All right, I like that. You sound very trustworthy. Here's my credit card oh. number. You ready for it? It's 529708860. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. Hurry up. So, go ahead slowly. Yeah, 52970860708 8215 4 215 Yeah. No, it is not. It's 2154. Uh, you didn't Speedy. Speedy. 2154? Two. Two, yeah, that's the last four. Okay, it's a debit. No, it's, it's a, a debit credit. Business. It's a credit card. It's a debit. It's a debit. It's a credit card. I'm looking at the motherfucker right now. Fucking okay, yes. Okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah, really. I'm looking at it right now. How did you look? With my eyes. Okay. The fuck what you think I would do? What, what you think? What you think I'm looking at? Looking from my eyes. Okay. Yeah, you were. You, 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 I heard what you. I heard what you said under your breath. I heard what you said under your breath. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. One. One more time. The court number. One more. Why don't time. you read it back to me? Why don't you tell me what you wrote down? Okay. It's five. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Keep going. And, and then? And then, right. What? I just scrubbed the whole number. You just scrubbed the whole number? Well, that's your, that's your fault. It's 529-7086-0. 5, 5, 5, okay, what is the first fall for? It's 529 Seven zero. Yeah. yeah. Eight five. Eight six zero seven. Okay. Zero, zero eight eight two one five four. Okay, but it doesn't seem match. Well, then you so tell me what. Well, then you tell me what you got, man. Okay. Mm hmm. <laughs> This dude was salty. And he cut straight to the point, too. He didn't even try to mask it. He didn't even try to mask it as being something that was uh, benefit. He was just was like, what's your credit card number? Like, motherfucker. What? <laughs> if you're going to play the game, play the game the right way. Although, I guess last week or the week before, uh, when I had the prank calls there, I, I, I told somebody to change the script. So maybe it was that guy from two weeks ago that... Uh, Tried to change the script, but he did it pretty poorly. But anywho, I will always answer those calls, especially when I've got the hot mic going. So thanks again, scam guys. And thank you all, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning into the JC Money Show this week, this commentary edition. I do rather enjoy those. And I and you know what? I enjoy the feedback. So please, good, bad, or indifferent. If there is any feedback, that or anything you want me to touch up on, anything you want me to talk about, uh, let me know. Shoot me a message. I am at I am JC Money on both Twitter and Facebook. I reactivated the Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash I am JC Money. I A M J C M O N E Y. You can shoot me a message on there. The TJCMS podcast page is open as well. I will answer any and all of those messages. If there's a subject you want to hear about, I will gladly talk about it. And as a matter of fact, there's a subject that I'm thinking about, and maybe I will maybe I'll stew on this a little bit. And put, and put this out next week, but I seem to have a rather interesting rap when it comes to pro wrestling, particularly calling out scumbag people, uh, whether they're pedophiles, whether they are ingrates, whether they steal from people, what, whatever, just overall shitty people in pro wrestling, they don't like to be told the truth about themselves, and they like to slam me for telling the truth on them. Literally, I recite what they do or say, and they threaten lawsuits. Ain't that right? You know who you know who I'm addressing this to. Maybe I'll do that next week. Let me stew on that. Let me sit on that for a little bit. Thanks again for tuning in. Hey, supporting uh, us by listening to the commercials through and through, beginning, middle, and end. That helps us out as well. And don't forget, please subscribe to this podcast wherever you are listening or watching. If you're if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to your network YouTube on there. But uh, if you're Apple Music, uh, Odyssey, any of the apps, you can find us anywhere. Wherever you prefer listening to the JC Money Show, click that subscribe button, please. That ensures that you get that download with or without a post. 
on Facebook or so any social media letting you know. I want to thank you all very much for tuning in and listening to my rambles and my calls. Hopefully it made you think and made you laugh. And if it didn't, well, there's always next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Good night now. Flavor Flav, a yeah boy for my Japanese contingency. Yeah, boy! Hang on, one more thing before you go. Remember, listen to our sponsors following this podcast, as that does help this podcast and this network out in a way that we appreciate very, very much. So if you could just ride it out 30 to 60 more seconds after this podcast is over, listen to those commercials. It will be doing us a very, very big solid. And again, we thank you. This has been a presentation of the Gear Radio Network. For more, log on to gearnetwork.com.